FSD 12.5 from the parking lot. All right, I'm literally in a parking lot, as you can see. It's going kind of fast. Damn, 20 miles an hour, relax. Okay, so big fail. Look at that. Does it? It failed. It doesn't even. It could. It's supposed to go left. <laughs> All right, so that's that's proof. Same plates into the road. I mean, you're the one not driving right. Okay, just so you know, behind me is the road I'm supposed to get to. It went through very fast, like 20 miles an hour, which is fairly fast for a parking lot. So, got a car right there. So it's probably gonna loop around or something. Let's see, the road is this way, just so you know. It's supposed to go that way. Look at that, it's freaking out. Now again, this is straight from a parking lot, so normally probably wouldn't be that weird. Let's see. All right, I think I know what it's gonna do. It's going to, uh, it's gonna go right. Got an oncoming car and a curb. Okay, so now it's figuring it out. Here's the road up ahead, as you can see. Hopefully no one comes out here and kills me. There's a truck right there ready to murder me. All right, let's see. So it's gonna do a merge, unprotected left. Could've went. All right, you better go now, that's a huge gap. All right, that was like an old, that was like an old grandpa move right there. All right, whatever. Can't really do that in Austin. People tailgate you like crazy if you're slow. It says 50, people want you to go 70. All right, I gotta pay attention, my bad. I'm gonna touch the wheel real quick. Okay, so far so good, aside from that freaky parking lot thing. All right, so coming up, I, you know, I route this every day for work, I'm going home. Coming up, it's gonna be a merge, it's gonna be some cones, and cars are able to come this way and merge on their own lane, and then we're in our own separate lane, but then they merge again. So I'm really curious to see how it's gonna perform here. You would think it would track the trips especially the ones that are programmed like home and work and all that so let's see all right here's the merge i was telling you about this is going to turn into cones so no one will be in my way and then it should go left on this underpass now these lights are disabled so it should just do a left without any heavy braking all right let's see it thinks it's a light okay no 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 keep going keep going the guy behind me is mad all right so I had, to, I had to push the gas on that because I don't want that guy to hit me and it's probably all pissed off. All right, so I'm still pushing the gas because I don't want people shooting me in the back of the head. <laughs> all right, so it's doing the merge. Okay, it's got it. All right, that was good. So you notice how it hesitated at that light. Technically, I guess it's not its fault, but the lights are blocked out, but they do, they do show up as, I think they showed up as red lights, I'm not sure. All right, so now, What's tricky is here is when it makes this left, it has to merge right. After this left, it's gonna merge right, but there's a stop sign, but it's not our stop sign. So I'm curious to see how it handles it. Okay, go. All right, right lane, right lane, okay. This guy's pretty annoyed. All right, let's see, right, all right, go, 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 all right, there we go, did it, all right, it's not bad, okay, it's pretty good, give it some gas, get this guy, uh, oh, he's off my tail, okay, they're gonna pull, pull something. All right, so coming up has to make a right, but what's annoying is I think FSD doesn't understand that at this light, you either go right or straight left. There's no straight. So it always hesitates here and it throws me in the left lane. It's supposed to be in the right lane. So if I have to disengage, I will, because I'm not trying to get the fender bender. So we'll see. Here 
here it comes again. So see all these cars? It has to stay on the right side. Right, look, it's gonna miss it. Oh, I got it, okay. That's cool, nice, all right. So that part actually improved. It would always wanna keep going straight and it was super annoying because people behind me were like, is this guy going straight or what? So this is gonna be a little bit of stop and go. More than likely we won't make this light. Um, so we'll see. If we do, cool, but people stop really hard a lot. I don't know why. It's green and they're stopping. All right, it's yellow. All right, so, so do. Could have made it, but, you know, whack. Normally I would have win already, but it's playing it safe. There's a gap after this Chrysler, so let's see if it makes it. As you can see, this guy's making a left, so you know it's safe. All right, cool, yeah, did it, nice, all right. Now keep in mind, if you're in a high traffic area, FSDs, oh that's nice, went around this guy. FSD will drive like a grandpa. They're very cautious, slow, it's not gonna really speed up. So you just gotta keep an eye on that. But other than that, it's pretty amazing. Let's see if it fits around this guy. Okay, nice, nice. I think it's awesome that uh, FSD still works with minimal battery life. I have under 20%, so I think that's pretty cool. All right, here we go. No one running the light. No drug drivers, no high drivers that we know of. There will be though soon, in a few hours, or there already is. So like I said, with the new update, as long as you're looking out on the road, it will not nag you because that's all that matters is that the driver is attentive. Supposedly the NTHSA, whatever it's labeled, National Transportation Highway, whatever, they put um, something with Tesla saying that in order to use FSD, they have to be fully alert, which makes sense because, you know, it could cause pretty serious wreck or death or whatever. So it takes off the stress of having to drive, um, but you do have to be pretty much alert. And if you do the sunglasses, which I do often, uh, it's gonna nag me every like minute or so or I have to pull on the steering wheel or scroll on the, on the wheel, whatever. But I don't know, I like, I like not having to touch it and just look. I think that's cool. Uh, you know, might be kind of annoying if I'm, my wife's with me and want to have a conversation with her. It's kind of cool to look at the person occasionally without it saying pay attention. So I haven't tried that yet, but we'll see. I right, got another stoplight coming up. Now the stop and go is, I think pretty well, 10 out of 10. It's like a human being. It's very smooth and subtle. It doesn't, uh, you know, stop abruptly or anything. It's pretty much how I would do it. Even even to the halt, it's a slow creep. Um, the takeoff smooth too. It's not like a jerk or anything. So it's very calibrated, I think, in my opinion. Okay. That makes a slide.
All right, so if it makes this light, I'm gonna be surprised. It's usually backed up on traffic. Okay, yeah, there you go. I don't know why you even got excited. Oh, nice. I was just gonna say, this gets complicated because it has to go in the left lane. It could do it here or it could do it after the fact. I'm glad it did it now because I feel like FSD is not as quick as a human where like, if I was in this right lane right here, um, I would have to speed up and then merge over to the left lane uh, where this car is going pretty much. So, oops. But anyway, yeah, it did, it, that was good. Did really well. There we go. So it has to come up to this light and it's gonna be making a left soon. So it doesn't have to go in this lane, but it can. Either way it works. All right, so clearly it's green. No one's running it. All right. So about, let, about a half a mile coming up, it has to merge to the right. It's gonna to come to a fork and split right. Now, if someone is in my way, the cool part is if you're an FSD, if you just push the gas down or whatever, the acceleration, it'll go faster, but it will not brake. So I'll show you, see? So it's sped up and let it go. If you hold it long enough, it'll say will not brake. So it does a little boost and then this merge might be a little scary because everyone's breaking pretty hard, but I should be able to handle it. Okay, not too bad. I don't know why I freaked out. Now, again, I haven't had to touch the steering wheel once, and that is a huge difference because normally it constantly tells me, but it's because I'm looking out, and it, and it, it tracks the eye pretty good because if I look at the screen, it's going to tell me to pay attention. If I look forward, it knows I'm looking at the road, which, which I am. Um, yeah, sunglasses, you could, you know, if you want, not recommending it, you can look down at your phone or something, but it will keep telling you to touch the wheel. Um, and when you put sunglasses on, it'll say glasses detected, um, alert mode or something will work, whatever it says. All right, so after this light, I'm gonna have to merge on left. So let's see how it does. Um, hopefully it doesn't do it last minute and get me killed. Pay attention to road. I don't know why it says that. Uh, let me look at the screen real quick. I guess. See? See what I mean? It's a nag. All right. But hey, first world problems, right? Okay, here we go. We should be able to make this light, hopefully. Um, yeah. This guy's stopping. Are we gonna right? Okay, come on. Let's stop too hard. There we go. Speeds up. Nice. Now I'm hoping after this car that's gonna pass me right now on the left that it goes to the left side. Uh, exits coming up. Now, check this out. Say I want to speed around these guys. It's like it's a truck or whatever, or this guy. Push the gas again, and it's going to merge. When it needs to see, look at that. Isn't that sick? Boom. Let the, let the foot off the gas, and I get to speed around someone. Effortlessly takes control, merges around. It, and I, I let go, and it goes back to its route. It's pretty sick. I mean, Regular cruise control or adaptive cruise control, anytime you push the gas of the pedal, typically it'll disengage. I don't want to say all models or cars, but now it has to make a left here. Hopefully it doesn't do that dumb little merge and then out and then, okay. So that improved. Typically when it would merge on the left hand like that, it would go in, go out, and then go back in. It was so annoying because people behind me would get pissed and it could cause a wreck. If they think I'm merging back out, they're going to push the gas. Even though they're coming to a red light, they don't care. They don't want to wait. Now we're gonna be entering a little suburb neighborhood. The street will have cars on both sides, so let's see how it does. Also keep in mind there's glare coming straight at me right here. So potentially it could be um, messing with the camera, but apparently not, but literally hitting my face. Look at that. So I'm just gonna put this on, don't get blinded. All right, doing pretty good. I've got some cars on the right. I always get nervous because it feels like it's gonna hit them, but it sees them, obviously. But you know, a little kid could run out or something. All right, not too bad. Keeping the speed limit. It's pretty cool. All 
right? So this is going to be a stop sign and hard right. Nice. All right, hasn't killed anyone yet. It's good. Oh, 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 look at, look at that. You see that? Failed. Failed. It was supposed to make a right on that street and it didn't. So maybe it's because I ended the trip. I want you guys to find out where I live and try to, you know, kill me or something. But we're in Texas, so just, just keep that in mind. We protect our homes. All right, I guess taking its own route. Let's see. Okay. Well, it looks like it's just driving around then because apparently it's going to the wrong place. But as you can see, this is how it functions in a suburb area. Kind of a tight street, cars on both sides type. Yeah, not bad, right? So there you go. Let me know what you think. This is FSD 12.5. In my opinion, as long as you're looking at the road, it's a tight spot. As long as you're looking at the road, it'll do very well. All right, guys, catch you in another one.